Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Game Maker Studio 2.3 to achieve the better footsteps. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So normally when I'm coding my game, I have my object here and I have a timer and then in my timer, I'll have to do something like mod 15. If the remainder of that equals zero, then we play our footsteps. So right now, if I hit a five, you'll see my character, he'll be able to walk. When I press my keys down here on the console, you can see that the footsteps are playing. However, they're not really, uh, they're not really adjusted to where the foot, footsteps are actually being placed here. So what we can do is we can use a new method and we can broadcast a footstep in GameMaker Studio 2.3. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out my show debug message. I'm gonna close everything and load up my sprite. So here's my sprite and you can see we're just walking, nothing really crazy, but we have this new button here where we can add a broadcast message. So let's say I want a broadcast message, a footstep to happen on frame two. So I click this button and just say footstep. I'm gonna copy and paste this on frame four as well here. And you can have whatever you want in here. So for example, if this guy was throwing a baseball on this frame, I could come in here and I could just say something like throw. So now that we have these broadcast events, we need to tell our object to listen to these events. So let's close our sprite and open up our object. And what we'll wanna do is add a new event. We'll go down to other, and then we'll choose broadcast message. Now, this little bit of code, I think it's a little bit messy. I'm never ever gonna remember it. So we're gonna wrap it up in a new function in GameMaker Studio 2.3. But first, let's check out what we actually need to do. So whenever we come into this event, the broadcast message, we're gonna have some event data. So we need to check that event data. So the event data, if this event data, specifically the event type, if this equals a sprite event, then we know that we have some sort of message from our sprite itself. Now that we know that we have an event, a sprite event here, then we have to check to see what the actual message is. So we could use a switch statement here and we could say if the event underscore data, and once again, we're gonna be checking the message. So we will switch based off of this. This is just a if statement. So we'll say if the case equals footstep, then in here, what we'd want to do is something like show debug message, and we would just say footstep. Now, if I run my game, whenever the frame two and frame four happen, we'll have a footstep down here. So you can see it's much faster and we have the, the footstep actually walking. Now, like I said, this code, I mean, when we only write it once, it's okay, but what happens if we want to use it multiple times? Well, we'll have to come in here and we'll have to make a new case and we'll say case throw, and let's just add a show debug message. And once again, we'll just have something like throw. All right, so this really isn't that bad. I mean, we're just doing it in the one, uh, one instance here, but what if we start expanding this and we're not really gonna remember any of this code here. So in GameMaker Studio 2.3, we can add a new script to handle this for us. So let's go ahead and create a new script in here. And let's call this sprite underscore broadcast. And this sprite broadcast is going to accept the message type. And then we are going to have a callback function here. So how this is gonna work, and we're gonna kind of copy the code that we have above right here. Actually, let's go ahead and copy all of this here and we'll fix it up. So we'll come in here and we wanna check the event data for the event type and make sure that we have a sprite event. Now let's get rid of our switch statement here. And next we wanna say, okay, for this event data, if the event data, specifically the message, is equal to the message type, then what do we wanna do? Well, let's actually execute this callback function. So this may seem like it's really weird right now, but let me show you how this works. So remember in here, we had this information right here, where we checked the spread event and then we checked to see what the message was. So if we were to rewrite this information, we would just say, okay, sprite broadcast, and we're looking for the message type of footstep. And then if footstep happens, we wanna run this particular function right here. So this is the callback. So in our case, we'll just have the footstep in here. And I'll get rid of this just so you can see that it's working. So if I hit F5, whenever the frame lands on frame two and frame four, we get the footsteps just like before. 
Now this makes it super easier down the road so we can copy and paste this and we can say whenever we have the message throw, you know what, let's just say throw ball. So now we don't have to write that if statement, that case switch statement, we have everything encapsulated in this nice and easy function that we can now import in other projects and use within our game. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and a special shout out to the following Patreon supporters in no particular order. Annie, Victor, Lucas, Vil, Darthwolf, Paul, Ian, Andrea, Robert, Angel, Ashby, Edward, and Blunt BSC. Once again, thank you all for watching the video, and I hope you found it useful. Thanks again.